Update after post re, emotional affair. Wife still denying anything, expressing zero remorse or acknowledgement of my feelings. Update. This goes against what many people here have said about me not engaging with her. She could tell something was up with me and kept asking what was going on and what's bothering me. I finally broke and talked to her. I mentioned my specific concerns and told her that what's been happening is not okay and that it feels like lines and boundaries are being crossed. She seemed unfazed. She seemed offended that I would even think that something inappropriate was going on. She deemed me that they have been physical together. She said I've only been out till 2 a.m. with him twice. Yeah, well that's too too many times for me, I said. She seemed to refuse to even attempt to see it from my point of view. Or an outside perspective. It's telling to me that so many other people could recognize that maybe even texting a coworker so much and worrying about his well-being after the drinking was crossing a line. My wife seems to refuse to believe that she's crossing lines. She refused to acknowledge that maybe what she's doing is wrong or actually hurtful. He's like my best friend right now. Yeah, well why can't I be that? I'm your husband. I know things are rocky and weird with us right now but I'm trying to work on things and I can't help but feel there's stuff you're not telling me. All I want is for her to accept some responsibility and remorse. She kept saying what do you want me to do? She kept pointing out that they really haven't been together too much or stayed out late more than twice. Uck it just feels like we got nowhere. When I spoke with her and told her how hurt and uncomfortable her behavior with Mark is making me, she seemed unfazed. Her first reaction, rather than being sorry or concerned that I'm being hurt, was to say well what do you want me to do about it, I shouldn't have to walk her through this. She's a very intelligent person, she should be able to see that maybe there's even just a slight chance that what she's doing would look bad to anyone looking from the outside in. She's blinded by whatever she's feeling and doing. She kept, deflecting. I told her it made me uncomfortable that she was out till 2 am drunk with him, that it was weird. She said well that's only happened twice. She noted that they've only been to three soccer game dates together. That doesn't matter to me. The amount of times doesn't matter. What matters is that now she knows how it is hurting me and that I told her I am not going to put up with it anymore. She should proceed accordingly. I told her that I want to be happy and I want to be with someone who makes me happy. I said I want her to be with someone she wants to be with also and I don't want either of us to have to feel at first or like every day, we have to try to conjure up feelings for the other person. She told me she loves me and wants to be with me. It felt hollow. I told her she seems completely emotionally invested in him and that there's no more room for me. I told her I feel like a roommate who sits around while she dates Mark. She kept saying we're just friends and I'm not even with him all that much. She didn't need any physical intimacy between them. She said that other co-workers have asked her if anything is going on between her and Mark. I asked her what does is anything going on mean to her. She couldn't spell it out. I told her that I find it incredibly hard to believe that Mark a single guy my age has anything to gain from being just friends with a married woman. I told her that no matter how good of a guy she thinks he is, he has certainly had the thought crossed his mind of home, what if? She deemed need that they talk about their feelings for each other. I don't believe it. I told her that if he knows about our marriage issues, then it makes it even more suspicious that he continues to hang around. It's like he's just waiting for the off chance we do break up so he can have her with no strings. I can't shake the feeling that she's lying to me. Something more has to be going on and she is trickle-truthing me. I feel gaslit, 
I feel crazy that I'm feeling so bothered and anxious by all this. I wish she'd show some ducking remorse or own up to it. I told her how I sat on telling her my true feelings about this for so long because I was being too considerate of her feelings and neglecting my own but that I needed to protect myself going forward. I told her we need to tell each other the hard stuff that might hurt the other person and be ready to do so. I mentioned that I want to be open and honest and vulnerable with her and would expect the same from her. Even if she thinks it'll hurt me or I can't handle it, I want her to tell me, I am not going to talk to her about this again. There's no point. She seems unwilling to accept that she's in the wrong here and very plainly hurting a person she claims to love. I know I'm being naive and stupid and will get tons of comments telling me similarly, but I am struggling so hard to get my head and heart around the idea of snooping into her phone. Honestly, I've been curious. But despite the heartbreak she's causing me, it's really hard for me to pull the trigger on that. And even if I did and even if I found something damning, I think I'd have an even more difficult time figuring out how to best confront her with that information. I feel so down on myself that I feel this way. That I feel so stuck. That I've let myself get to this position. I can't stop thinking where I screwed up along the way, what's wrong with me, what can I change, how can I change, why is this happening, I am so tired of all of this. I told her I know about her and Mark. I told her that I don't want to do this anymore and that I want her to be happy and do what makes her happy, but if that includes being with Mark, then I don't want to continue to be together. I told her we should go our separate ways. I told her I don't want to be in a marriage with a woman who isn't in love with me and isn't happy with me. She cried and cried and confessed that she and Mark do have feelings for each other but she is adamant that it's progressed to nothing physical. I told her that regardless, I don't feel that we can continue how things are and that we should separate. I threw out the D word several times and she got super upset and emotional saying that I'd already made up my mind without her and wasn't even discussing it. I told her that she had made up her mind to pursue those feelings with Mark and did nothing to stop it back then. That put her on edge too she told me I was being mean, and not understanding. I told her that I can understand her losing feelings for me and falling in love with someone else, but that I don't have to accept an EA and I wasn't going to put up with this anymore. Then she started begging, crying, saying that it seems like a rash, drastic decision to divorce and that we should try just an actual separating first. I said, I don't know what that will do for us. You'll just go off with Mark, right? She didn't really answer. She maintained that she doesn't want to jump straight to divorce. I maintain that I see no other option at this point. Even marriage counseling in my view wouldn't work. Because of work obligations, I can't just leave. But I booked a flight to go stay with my family this weekend. I cannot describe the immense relief I felt when I told her we should proceed to get divorced. The other good feeling I had was basically realizing that, she's made a choice. She's picking him by not outright saying she'll cut things off completely with him, she's made a choice. I don't want to be with someone who won't choose me. Edit, for everyone concerned about the process of me moving forward with the divorce. 1. Our finances are already separated and we have very little marital property under the law. The biggest dispute will be over our dog. 2. I am in a no-fault divorce state and the 60-day separation requirement before the divorce can be finalized is already met as we have been living under the same roof without sexual cohabitation for over 60 days. I don't foresee this being too procedurally or financially difficult. Emotionally and mentally? For sure.